Hi, this is Dean Takahashi from VentureBeat. I'm here with Michael Lake from Petroglyph uh, from a studio in Las Vegas. And um, you're making a game called End of Nations here for Tryon Worlds. Uh, tell us about it. Oh man, we are having a blast with this game. So for us, End of Nations is the world's first true MMO RTS. And what we're doing is we're taking everything that we love about traditional... MMO, let's explain that a little. Uh, MMO RTS, massive. okay, so it's massively, massively multiplayer online real-time strategy. Uh -huh. So cool. what we're doing is we're taking everything that we love about RTS uh -huh. and we're adding in really nice compelling elements that are really popular in MMO games. So we're giving people more massive scale, we're giving them a persistent yeah. world. Okay. So we're giving massive scale, uh -huh. persistent world, and a lot of really great compelling social features that's the clue that makes MMO games so great. And I, I oh, see at uh, sort of that outset here that you've got a map of the whole world basically that you're playing across. Yeah, so when you come into the game, you, you, you from your commander class, mm -hmm. you can jump into the game and see the map of the world. And what's cool is with that map, you can see where thousands and thousands of people are actively playing. Now, they might be back at their base headquarters, mm -hmm. or they might be out in the world having battles. So you can look across the globe, see where everything's going on and what everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. And you can find your friends. If you turn on your friends filter, you can look at, you can find your guild mates. Mm -hmm. You can go drop into a live battle, mm -hmm. be it PvP or PvE. And this is like one of those right here. What, what, what you see when you're in the live battle. Yep. Yeah. Here's you a big that battleship that crashed into the. Map. Yeah. So any any battles going on over yeah, there, Jeff? On so this is all just one small section of your your big big world. Yeah. Yep. And here's some people battling it out. We're just, we just kind of cheated our way in here. And now you can see there's a bunch of units here battling away, and they're they're taking on a, a big Order of Nations boss unit over here in the background. Uh -huh. That's, uh, How many people are attacking that? Uh, it's about eight. So eight players are playing cooperatively, uh -huh. and they're working together in this Order of Nations base mm -hmm. to take out this big boss unit. Uh -huh. so, oh. so how many players can you actually get into a match? Well, so far, um, we, we, we were able to hit 51 players playing cooperative PvE, which is a first for RTS, because as far as we know, the maximum number is two. And then um, also we had one night uh, playing uh, in the office. We were actually able to get up to about 60 people in a PvP map. So we haven't hit the limit yet. So we're gonna, you know, keep, you know, we're gonna keep learning from what we do. It looks like it's it's possible to have much, much more. So that red smoke, you just dropped something there. Super weapon. That's a missile strike. Missile strike. I mean, that's a big thing here. So you can call in all this air support here. Oh yeah, yeah. Like. If you, back at your uh, headquarters, if you built super weapon structures, uh -huh. you can call in special attacks, like, you know, aerial attacks and EM pulses and big bombs and helicopter strikes and all that good stuff. Napalm strike coming in. Napalm strike is coming in. There we go, Napalm. That's my tough boss. Uh, oh, oh we getting... just killed him. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and... And in the real game, we're actually working on getting him to drive around and move around. Right now, he was a little buggy, so we're kind of just having him sit there. But in the next version, you'll see he will be roving around. Uh -huh. Oh, so uh, how, how uh, soon are you launching this? Uh, 2011 and, or so? Yeah, End of Nations is slated to come out for the PC sometime in 2011. So you're going to have millions and millions of players playing it. Yeah, well, currently, we're looking at thousands and thousands. We're going to see what limit we can theoretically push. Uh -huh. but. Boy, would we be delighted to have millions and millions and millions. So we're going to find out a lot as we get more and more people to jump in the game with us. Uh, whew, great. Thank you very much. That's Mike from Retrobook.